Ray Bradbury grew up in the pulps. Starting in 1936, his stories appeared in magazines like Amazing Stories and Weird Tales. But in the process of penning over 400 novelettes and short stories, his writing continually developed. Soon it was appearing in major magazines like McCall's, Collier's, The New Yorker, and of course, The Saturday Evening Post. Between 1950 and 2009, we published 13 of his stories. They're a good representation of his talents. They run the gamut from science fiction, to satire, to horror, to romance. Bradbury's stories really can't be classified as purely science fiction or fantasy. You could argue that his stories are a genre of their own, and they all show his characteristic talent for making the fantastic familiar. In April Witch, for example, he weaves a credible tale of a wandering, supernatural spirit falling in love with a human. More often, though, Bradbury showed his talent for making the everyday seem fantastic. In stories like Summer in the Air, The Magic White Suit, and Goodbye Grandma, he takes ordinary events and imbues them with a sense of wonder and almost fantasy. His affection for mid-century Americana and the fanciful years of childhood have reminded some critics of Norman Rockwell. He, too, had a genius for presenting the extraordinary and poignant aspects of American life. There's one last facet to Bradbury's work, and that's the unexpectedly dark stories that suddenly swerve into the grotesque and sinister. Stories like The World the Children Made, in which a couple innocently enter their children's playroom to discover a deadly surprise. If you go to our website, you'll find a list of all the titles and dates of the Bradbury stories that appeared in the Post. Saturday Evening Post members can explore our 200-year-old digital archive, which includes stories by Bradbury, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Dorothy Parker, Jack London, and more. Subscribe today for only $15 a year.